What? Are you eating? He is eating. Yeah, the fuck? I mean, I could have just chosen to eat waffles and not come here, but it's cereal and I can bring it wherever I want. So you can't you can't bring waffles to your room. No, it's so much of a hassle. Oh my you can't fucking carry God. a bowl of cereal in one hand. How, dude? You're acting like you're acting like a plate of waffles in one hand. How am I gonna open my door to my bedroom? You're a little bitch. No, I'm dude. I'm thinking smarter, not working harder. Containment at gate A. Oh, oh, is it? Is, no, is, it, is that is that the picture of um, the lady? Those, the fucking the English, the the, the queen Chris, of England. You have, you have fucking, how fucking much that SCP scares the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. What SCP? Um, the stairwell. Stairwell. SCP-087. The fuck is a stairwell? Um, it's an infinite stairwell in complete pitch black. The further you go, the louder the fuck, like, you, like, the further down you go, the further you're, like, start getting detached from fucking reality. And you just start hearing a fucking kid crying towards the end of the stairs. How do you even contain that? Do you just build around it? I guess you build around it. That's what they did. <laughs> Um, also, yeah. why would you why would you keep going down? Once you understood, like, if there's more than a hundred steps, I'm not going down. That's too many. I'm not here to steps. exercise. Yeah, I'm not gonna I exercise. I think the farther, I think the farther, the farther, the farthest they've gone is uh, over three, no, over four hundred steps. That's a lot of steps. And then they and then then they got approached by the SCP, which is a fucking floating face. Of who? No one. It doesn't have eyes. Obama? Why do I feel like I've heard about this one? Here, let me read it like those spooky SCP, uh, the fucking, like, the YouTubers. SCP-2678. The Vorhole. What the Vorhole? What the fuck is wrong? What? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Keter class was so just out and about. What? It's it's just like oh my fucking god. Vorophilia, often shortened to vor, is a paraphilia characterized by the erotic desire to be consumed by or sometimes to personally consume another person or creature, or an erotic attraction to the process of eating in general. Um, you're driving down the highway in the summer gym, blah 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 blah. So it's literally just a hole in the wall. It's like that one Junji Ito comic where it's just like a hole in the wall that you just kind of fit into. But stupid and makes no sense and it has a stupid name. Uh. Um, we gotta read the page though. I'm not, we are not gonna read the page. You know how long it, last episode was? It was like 35 fucking minutes. I had to cut 20 yeah, minutes, this is, this 20 is minutes of recording. Oh shit, I, I know about fucking on London. On London? It's an underground Victorian era version of London that people are supposed to hide in when this world's gonna end. That's okay, that seems pretty cool, but I mean. It, it, it's cool, but the. It, there is a. The knife crime statistics it. must be really high there. There's a really, really, really big problem about uh, around there. It's really treated like a fucking fascist. fascist uh, dictatorship down well, there. I highly doubt it would be fascist, be more monarch. But, I mean, Not really. They kind of target anybody and anyone. Like, Oi, bruv. Why are you coming here on London, yeah? So, yeah let, let me find it. Let me find an image. It's, it's so, sorry, sorry, bruv. Uh, I'm just a random bloke and I, I wandered down here. No, fam. What are you doing down here, fam? I stab you. It's pretty stupid that you're in here, ain't it? Got a ciggy, mate. <laughs> hey, what do you got? A ciggy, Bunko. mate. Well, hold up. Let's let's talk about what was the naked dude again? It was like nine 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 J, right? Yeah, nine 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 J. Fuck. <laughs> hold up.
hold up. Let me get. <laughs> you let me get a picture of of, of SCP nine 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 J. It's fucking. It's beautiful. I swear to God, someone's gonna send it before me. Don't don't do that. I, I already got it. So, <clears throat> oh wow, look this dude. Why did they blur out the dude's crotch? He's just in the speedo. Here, I'll, I'll get. <laughs> let me download it off of this Russian website because you know that's. <laughs> This is SCP nine 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 J. No. Yes. <laughs> what? And he occurs when you're uh you're taking a piss. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't. I don't know. Hold, say when when does he show up? Uh, hold up, hold up. Let me search it up. SCP. Ew, that is gross. Hold up, I just I looked up for one second. Are you streaming League of Legends? Oh. <laughs> You, you know this is general voice chat NSFW chats. We don't we don't oh, have one. Oh, right? uh, about I'm the sorry, Red bro. Pond, Chris. Uh, people, they they did do an expedition in, into the fucking Red Pond. It is a very absurd fucking world. <laughs> you guys are fucking going going off on SCPs. I don't even understand. What the fuck because is Red Pond? Chris vibe on fucking SCP. I know, but what, what's Red Pond? The pond is full of weird creatures I, that I, pop out in computer. Okay, so let that me tell awesome. you instances that came out of the Red Pond. You Don't tell me. The, just tell, what, what is the Red Pond? The Red Pond essentially is uh, the fucking lake of monsters. It, it keeps on fucking throwing out monsters that kill up people. It's, it's a dimensional pool. People can go Yeah, it pretty much out, is. And yeah. you can also go in and explore another dimension. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's kind of like the fucking pond where, or the swamp where Grendel's mom was. This is Beowulf Pretty now. God damn it. Um, but Beowulf yeah, they... sucks. Alright, I'm sorry. Yeah, continue. Yeah, okay, let's see. SCP-999-J typically appears during periods of intense self-gratification, sleep, copulation between couples, and after urination. Oh, so, the, this man's with the gun and the thong. He's just like, hey, what's up, bro? After taking Pretty the piss. Pretty much. Let me tell you the incidents. Well, right. does he does he even hurt you or does he just show up? No, he just shows up. He doesn't even try to hurt you. That's fucking weird. Yeah, let me see. Uh, addendum nine 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 J dash three. Various reports of SCP nine nine. Oh, also he might be a cuck. Uh, SCP nine 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 J. Redacted date. Ate a jar of pickles over a sleeping man for over two hours. When the subject woke up, he dropped a pickle in his chest hair and proceeded to spend four minutes untangling it. How does it get tangled in your chest here? Like I don't like I see, I see I see yeah I see, I see the dude has a, like a lot of chest here, but either that pickle was really tiny, or it's longer than it looks. Don't know. Redacted date appeared in bed while subject was watching television and pulled out a camera cor camcorder from SCP nine 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 J dash one, which is a speedo. SCP nine nine nine. J proceeded to record the television show when asked why SCP-99 J reported it this way. Redacted date. Did 99 J no. confirmed to have sick air guitar skills. Reports his favorite band is Metallica. Ah, yeah, he's, he's a man of culture, I see. Friend of mine, of course. Redacted date. Found crying. When questioned, SCP-999 J said Firefly is cancelled. Alright, you're back. Well, nah, we we talked about um, the the naked dude. Uh, rejected date. Asked SCP-105 out. Was rejected. Rejected date. Remove SCP-999-J-1 in front of 12-year-old girls. Underneath oh was another God. instance. Underneath oh. was another another instance of SCP-999-J-1. SCP Redacted date. Farted. Blame the dog. Redacted date. Observing <laughs> Gordon himself. Are you on gonna... over ten Are you... instances of SCP one one six two J. Are you gonna read all the fucking instances, like all the occurrences? I mean, these are mostly the occurrences. The last one is addendum nine 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 J four SCP nine nine J was confronted by Doctor Redacted over his claims of being in a band. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah SCP-99-J, I am too in a band. Doctor Redacted, oh yeah, what's it called? SCP-999-J, Darkness Dick Supreme. Oh, Doctor Redacted. 
SCP-999. J, your mom doesn't sound real. Adenum 99J-5. What the fuck is this? 05? SCP-1121 skinning disease? It's an amoeba that literally causes all your skin to fall. There's a disease that does that. Yeah. Well, that doesn't even need to be in it. Yeah, but it's it, not even, it just causes necrosis on your skin and you turn all black. And, well, you, not you, you. Your skin what? turns black and it dies. The Edward Pass. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, I like my my favorite SCP is uh, SCP seventeen ninety four because uh, it's just amazing. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a hole in the middle of the grapefruit, approximately the size of your man's penis. Sentient grapefruit <laughs> that literally just wants to have a conversation. Like that's that's it's, that's it. There, there's there's nothing to it. It just wants to talk to people. That's it. Or, I mean, that's that's pretty much oh, it. Yo, this grapefruit we're really vibing. I wonder what fucking conversation the grapefruit would even have. Like, it's a grapefruit. What's it like being a fruit? Yeah. Like, hey, bro. Oh, like, do you mold or here. anything? What What do you think is the scariest SCP? Because I don't. Know. I mean, I know there's ones that look scary, like the the lizard and the plague doctor uh, one. Take two. Huh? Take like two. That's the one you were referring to, 682, the lizard. Oh, 682, the okay. Grass. Yeah, yeah, it's, okay. 682 is scary. It's scary looking. And the Plague yeah. Doctor one is also scary looking. But those are the only ones that come to mind when I think of scary looking SCP. I don't, I don't think they're really scary. <laughs> Bro, my, why is my nose so stuffy? Coronavirus. Man, it's not, I got the virus. The boy the boy got, got the virus. The virus. <laughs> Well, thanks, Raul. Hell nah, boy. That shit. Raul, what's, what's your favorite SCP? Dumb. 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 Oh, wait, Garfield. Yeah, I forgot about the Garfield SCP. <laughs> okay, wait, well, okay. What, what is Garfield? Is, is it just Garfield? Like, is it an actual cat cat? Or is it like the phone? It is the fucking cat. Like, it's it's the cat, but at the same time, not the fucking cat. The epic 2003 movie with Bill Murray? <laughs> no, it's like some guy in the fucking mask. <laughs> like, in, in the fucking costume. So it's not really Garfield. It's not a cat. Uh, let me find an image. It might be better fucking explained. I was off by a year. The Garfield movie came out in 2004. <laughs> So what kind of cereal are you eating? Um, fruity pebbles. They're good when they're dry. Okay, I can't oh, find oh, a real. Oh, you're eating fruity pebbles? Food. Kicked. <laughs> Banned. No. Why don't yeah, you just I buy can't, fucking I can't find, I can't find a good fucking uh, what should I call it? Yeah, I can't Photo. find a good fucking image of fucking of the SCP. So, uh, so the best way I can describe it, think of and. Of a very fucking demonic, uh, mm -hmm. a Garfield Garfield costume, mm -hmm. and it has a fucking life of its own. Isn't there, okay? Hold up. Let me, let me just. Isn't there just a fucking SCP that's just a red button? Yes, there is. Like, like the red button. Yeah, and there's like a cult going around it too. Like, like they, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do not press the red. button. No, it's either press the red button or do not press the red it's, button. It's it's don't press the red button. I think I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. It's like you hit it and you just hear, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that that'd be the biggest plot twist ever. Like like oh like like the world's ending. Let's see what this button does. Hits it, bruh. And that's it. Bruh. And uh, Chris. Okay, I'm gonna search that up now and show you what that looks like. SCP zero six six. This. Screams very loudly if you get close to it. It oh, while it's well. Oh, okay. I, I've actually no. It has like a bunch of eyes and looks like a like ground beef. I I, I remember this because I remember when I was uh, little. I used to watch people play the SCP game, and that thing would just roll around. Like what the fuck is that? That's stupid. But now <laughs> yeah, I see so a like, picture of it. It looks like uh, Laffy Taffy and ground beef with eyeballs in it. 
yeah, uh, what should I call it? Also nicknamed Eric's, Eric's Toy or some shit. SCP-507. Reluctant Dimension Hopper. This dude teleports to another dimension but cannot control his ability. Oh, I, uh, I you feel just, so is, is, that, is that Rick and Morty? No. It, it's actually <laughs> a lot more. The teleporting just kind of fucking happens. And it's really fucking sad at times. Dude, what wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> he went to a fucking dimension that can only be described as fucking perf perfect bliss. Everything was just in fucking harmony. There, It was in harmony or harmony? Harmony. Okay, I heard harmony. I'm like, why the fuck is he in like... No, 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 no. But yeah, everything was fucking like just great, and then he fucking leaves. Uh. Wait, does he do it on his own will, or does it just happen? No, he doesn't. Him? He doesn't. It just happens randomly. Oh, that sucks. It's not on his own will. Imagine yeah, no, no, he uh, left. Bro, he, imagine he left like when he was about to experience one of his greatest plane. moments in his life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine being like, it's like, oh, it's like this is a food dimension. And the next second, you're like, oh, you're welcome to the fat, sweaty fat guy dimension. Um, and no. I, think he, <laughs> I think he gets, like, depression for, like, a good fucking month after that shit. F the, the sweaty fat guy dimension? No, 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 the fucking, the fucking, like, he gets out of the fucking beautiful world, then he's just like, oh, well, fuck, I don't like this world anymore. SCP-3001 <laughs> in Red Reality. Red Reality. <laughs> Couple scientists try to manipulate the... Entropy level of the universe, and this dude accidentally end up teleporting to the edge between dimensions. This uh, this one is sad because he spends about a year or so at this place where he slowly withers away because of increasing internal ent entropy. Called oh, Hume? Hume love? Is that Hume or Hum? I'm gonna say Hume. Hume level in the story, like he starts uh, becoming transparent and shit, and he cry profusely when his wedding ring disappears. The only source of light he has is a floating world of darkness, a small red dot coming from the piece of equipment that was pulled into this pocket dimension with him. This one is really depressing. I mean, you that make make the pocket dimension the past, and you just describe the plot of uh, Back to the Future. But uh, fucking nineteen eighty. Without without the instance of Marty Mc uh, uh, <laughs> Marty McFly almost banging his mom. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you guys, you guys remember that? <laughs> yeah. Almost being his mom. My bad. Okay, okay. Uh, now I remember which one was my f favorite fucking SCP. It was 1983 because of what happened with the fucking D-Class. Oh. Um, but yeah, it, this SCP, when it comes down to containing it, is really fucking pessimistic. Object class, Keter, God help you. Special containment procedure. What, what, okay. Die, uh, poor dumb fuck. What, what, is, is that, is that like... Is that me? Am I an SCP? I'm very pessimistic. It's like, well, what if that doesn't no, 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 happen? No, no, huh? no, no. The person who was putting in the fucking proceed procedures is just like, just give up. It's you're not gonna be able to fucking get taken. There, there should just be a like an SCP that makes you doubt yourself. It's like I'm. I can't wait I for this race. Really yeah, like, like this dude. He's like, he's like, I can't wait for him to get my raise. And this yeah, SCP this just walks walk him. He's like, or will you get a raise? Are you gonna get a raise, little bitch? Huh? Are you sure you want to get the raise? Are you sure you want to get the race, huh? Alex just left. God damn. He didn't even say anything. He just left. I'm gonna make him look bad in this video too. Yeah, I'm gonna make him look bad too. I didn't. Oh, I didn't do it the first time, but now I am. Whoa, mama. <laughs> but yeah, um, there were three attempts. Yeah, there was three attempts uh, to eliminate 1983. Uh, I think the only one that succeeded the best was uh attempt three where they're literally just tell the the fucking d-class uh to just go all right you're doom pretend you're doom guy go in and yeah good luck do they even know what doom is like do they even live normal lives or are they raised in the scp no 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 and this is like this my description to it this is my description okay oh i'm, I'm yeah. like i'm like i'm like did these fuckers even play doom yeah, no, they just give a, they give a fucking random guy a, uh, an AR-15, yeah, a fucking assault rifle with silver bullets in it, and pretty much tell him to go, like, okay, pretend you're the Doom Slayer, now go. Because they, the, the two attempts, the other two attempts, they just sent in assault teams, and none of them came back. 
So, so they expect the literal prisoners to do any better? Yeah. Fucking, yeah, look, a team from MTF T-13 uh, was sent to the front doorway to attempt investigating the anomaly. They did not return. However, shortly after they entered, the front door appeared, closing the frame. No further manifest- manifestations of SCP-1983-2 appeared. A second assault team entered SCP-1983-1 to determine the fate of the first assault team. They did not return. The door did not close. Shortly after new manifestations of SCP-1983-2 appeared, Agent Morris entered the doorway, which closed shortly after. And then here's the last attempt. On May 23, 1989, D-14134 was given a closed-circuit camera tethered to a monitor by a 25-meter cord. He was instructed to examine as much of the area as he could and then attempt to return. Once the doorway feed, doorway feed from the camera was inter- interrupted, the cord was pulled taut and then snapped. Several after hours afterward, the anomaly in SCP-1983-1 disappeared. Inside the dis- desiccated remains of several agents were discovered, as well as document 1983-15, an informal SCP report written by an agent within the anomaly. It appears as follows. Let's see. I need to find... I need to... Oh, no. They really? Wait, yeah. SCP-1983 is presumed to have been neutralized by D-14134 who was posthumously awarded the Foundation Star, one of the only one of only yeah. two awarded to Class D personnel, due to oh, information my. in document 19, 1983-15. It is believed that the anomaly was not localized, as previously believed, and renewed sources have gone into attempting to locate similar incidents. And I need to look at the report, because I, I do remember, they pretty much they pretty much uh, wait, no, yeah, in this report fucking pretty much the D class finds a fucking agent. The agents are essentially fucking dead. So he just takes their guns and just goes to the fucking nest and kills and kills everybody in there. Cool. Yeah, that was really long. Thanks for making the recording another hour long. God a... damn it. Just for a very fun it, reading. Can we yeah. get six seven eight now? Yeah, go. Ahead. What the fuck is six seven eight? Oh, but we're not gonna fucking read the vor hole. Cause it, it, <laughs> the vor hole is literally just a hole you go into in the highway. It, but the explanation gets really awesome. <sighs> Cause you know you're editing my videos, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There isn't much to talk about SCP because pretty much. It's more the subject class than it is the organization. Because, I mean, what? It's, oh, it's an under, underground organization that holds people and say, hey, you're you're a bad person, so you're going to have to keep watch of these monsters. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, am I, not, am I wrong? They're literally all prisoners, and they just watch. They, they pretty much are. Yeah, like, okay. It, like the game, like the game. Okay, isn't it like? However, the, there are some that are allowed to roam free to the foundation. Oh yeah, because they're a keter. They're on parole. No, 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 no. Oh. No, I mean like little, like. Oh, prisoners. There's, no, there's some that they there's some in the foundation that they let out, like just they don't they don't they know they're they're not gonna cause any any fucking harm, so they just let them walk around, so they don't really get treated. Some of them don't get treated like prisoners, but most of them do. I would want uh, an SCP that's like the what the midget the- from uh, from that from the Men Without Hats video, where he just follows me around, and I would be like, "Cause your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine." And he's just yeah, they're just he's gonna follow me around and just sing that like that entire song. He's gonna skip around. That that'd be pretty cool. Awesome. SCP, <laughs> are, are midgets their own SCP? Oh God. <laughs> No offense, midgets. You guys are pretty cool. I know a midget, and he's really cool. Granted, you guys don't like being called midgets or dwarves, or you guys prefer little people, but even that sounds derogatory. Haha, <laughs> tiny little man. That's basically, that's basically what you call it when it's like, oh, we're little people, and it's like, that sounds so <laughs> fucked up. Like, how is that not, like, <laughs> like can't we just call them by, like, well, okay, where, where, where does the word midget derive it from, anyway? Tiny. Yeah, we because we, dwarfism is the scientific term, but they're also they're like, hey, that hurts. Like, yeah. Um. I, apparently, that there is an SCP. Uh huh. That's a midget. Yeah. 
Oh, send it. Send it. Well, send it or tell us what 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 SCP what like what it's called. SCP zero three seven Euclid. Uh, special containment procedure. SCP-037 is a magnetically contained in the sub- subterranean complex known as Site-22. Object size, spe- spectral signature, and temperature are constantly monitored both on-site and remotely from Site-98. Description. SCP-037 appears to be a star approximately 5 centimeters, 2 inches in diameter with a luminosity of... Wait, a star? That's not a midget. Huh? That's not... Uh, okay. Alright. Ah, well. Uh, I just got gangbanged. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> well, I mean, that that usually happens when you play League of Legends. Not sponsored, because I hate your ads, League of Legends. I hate you so much. Hold on, let me go on a, let me go on a <laughs> little rant real quick. Those ads, hey, you want to play League of Legends? That fucking stupid drawing. I hate you. I'm not going to download your garbage game. Screw you. Same thing with freaking Fortnite and Rogue Company. So you guys' games suck. Stop telling yeah, me to play your Diablo, stupid game. I hate Diablo. Diablo's good. Fuck you, Diablo's good. Yeah. Is there demons and shit in League of Legends? No, there isn't. Yeah. You know why? Because League of Legends sucks dick. That boy got that virus. Boy, hell no, boy. That boy is stuck in time. What's your name? Stan. Stan.